Hello, Provo City. I am Superintendent Dow of the Provo City School District. Today is Monday, September 23rd. I hope all of you had a fantastic weekend. The weather cannot be beat. So I hope you uh, enjoyed some time outdoors uh, and that you are enjoying this warm weather because I'm sure it will turn soon enough. I uh, just want to give a shout out to Cassidy Diamond. She is a teacher at Franklin Elementary and was nominated by her peers for a Provo Way Award. She is noted for really supporting her, her teaching peers, for providing feedback, for brainstorming with them about how to make lessons better. Uh, she's just an individual that really strives to help every teacher do the very best that they can. And so we just want to give her a big shout out. This week's podcast uh, features Nathan Sauerbeer from Provo High. He is a social studies teacher and we have a great conversation about the constitution, about how it compares with other types of government, just the unique characteristics of it and why we are so fortunate to have the government that we do have. So I hope you'll take, uh, I hope you'll listen uh, and really enjoy it uh, as a former US history teacher. I really, really enjoy talking about government and just the comparative politics in terms of how we compare with other countries and, and what, that, what that looks like and why we are so fortunate to live in the United States. Uh, it is also Hispanic Heritage Month uh, this month, and so we want to uh, find some different ways in which we celebrate just the diverse cultures that, that bring Provo together and that these different perspectives help us to be better. These different perspectives help us to see things from a different, uh, from a different light and from a different lens and help us to be more creative in our problem solving. So stay tuned for more highlights uh, throughout this month uh, with our Hispanic Heritage Month. We do have an all day board meeting on Friday, September 27th. This board meeting will be discussing several new policies or updated policies that have come about as a requirement of state law. We will also be discussing the results of our cell phone survey. If you have not completed this survey, we would really love to hear from you. Please do so by Wednesday so that we can begin to gather that data. Um, it also asks for uh, feedback with regard to some of the watches like Gab watches or TikTok watches that kids are wearing, Apple watches. Um, you may want to see a different um, type of policy with respect uh, to those devices versus cell phones. We would love to hear that input so that we are making the best decisions that we can. It is to be noted that there has already been a bill filed with the Utah State Legislature to ban cell phones and electronic devices. This would include those watches um, from, bell, for, from bell to bell and that a school district must really go in and delineate when those devices would be allowed. So please note that that's the lens from which we're going to uh, look at this. Uh, simply so that we don't have to rewrite this once uh, we believe that this law will likely go into effect um, so that we are being responsive to um, uh, the legislature and the actions that they are taking. Uh, we will also be talking about um, our strategic plan, uh, making sure that everything is finalized there. We will also be discussing um, some of our building projects and facilities needs. Um, we will be updating the public on Timpu and Wasatch. We will also be talking about uh, the Elevate grant that Provo High School has received. We'll be talking about that and what that means for Provo High to help with its uh, academic achievement and growth. Uh, we will also be discussing uh, a citizens outreach committee or a community connections type of committee where the board can bring issues to this particular committee to seek uh, a broader you know, perspective and broader feedback. And then we will also be talking about how we create a space for our parent advisory committees. We have had these traditionally in the past. We want to make sure that we are in alignment with new state laws um, requiring us to uh, operate these in a very specific way. And so we wanna make sure that we're providing, we're getting feedback from the community about the experience that students are having at school and how we can um, better respond to those and make school an incredible place for every single student, no matter their background, their beliefs, their situations. Uh, we just, we really do wanna make Provo City School District 
uh, the very best that, that we can. So all of those things will be talked about in uh, the all day board meeting. Uh, the agenda will get finalized 24 hours prior to that meeting. It does begin at 8.30 a.m. on Friday. So that agenda will be posted um, with those specific items on Thursday at 8.30 a.m. So if you would like more information about the specific topics that will be addressed, you can check that out on our website. Um, if you go to um, the Board of Education tab, then it will have the links to uh, the meetings and the agendas. I just wanna also give a big shout out to our PTAs across the district. They do such a phenomenal job of taking care of our teachers and our principals. I don't think there's a single day where I'm not on social media and seeing how a school is highlighting something great that a PTA did to celebrate a student to celebrate a teacher, to just really make a difference and, and really try to uplift our community and to support public education. We are so lucky to have such an involved group of parents um, that support our public education system and we couldn't be happier um, with the relationship that we have with PTA. So just wanted to give a big shout out um, there as well. Um, I also wanted to make you aware of that we have a ton of activities going on this week. Um, I sure do love being out in the schools. Last week I was able to be at Sunset View Elementary and visit second and third grade classrooms with math and literacy lessons. Um, I was really fortunate to uh, talk with Principal Hansen about some of the unique characteristics of Sunset View and some of the challenges that they're facing so that we can help problem solve those. Uh, this week, uh, Lakeview Elementary is hosting a family picnic. I'm going to volunteer there tonight. Um, I'm going to be doing school visits at Provo Peaks Elementary, at our Slate Mountain Campus, and at Provo High School. And then we also have our golf tournament sponsored by the Foundation on Thursday. And I just want to thank the Foundation for their efforts in really trying to raise money to support our education system. The golf tournament in particular goes to supporting um, scholarships for students who would like to attend Camp Big Springs. It also goes towards our teacher innovative grants um, where teachers can apply for money to try innovative things in their classrooms. Um, and so all of that is funded through this golf tournament. And that's really what we want. We want our teachers to have opportunities to create um, really creative and rigorous lessons for our students. And sometimes they need additional resources to do so. Uh, it's also a big week for both of uh, Provo and Tiffew High Schools as we have um, our homecoming festivities at each of the schools. And so please tune in if you're a part of either of those communities and make sure that you are um, aware of all of the great activities that they have. And we hope to see you at many of those. Um, I also wanted to make you aware of that our CTE program, so Career and Technical Education Program, has an open house at um, Utah Valley University this week. Um, and it's so that students can go and uh, get an idea of some of the trades that are available at UVU, which is really a powerful thing for some of our students that might not want to go to a four-year um, university and, and have a traditional college education, but they might want to um, be part of something that allows them to um, get some experience in a, in a trade that will help increase their uh, overall salaries. So just wanted to make you aware that that will be taking place um, on October 1st at UVU from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. And that um, Shoreline Middle School will also be doing a career fair beginning at 8 a.m. on October 2nd. These are really important opportunities for our students to see what options are available to them and, um, and really start to think about how their middle school experience can prepare them and what kinds of things that they need to be doing in high school to prepare for that as well. We also, um, through an agreement that we have with uh, the Norda um, Medical School, we do have health screenings that are available uh, for our students at Franklin Elementary. That will be held on Thursday, September 26th from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. This is completely optional. This is never a requirement, but just something 
um, that we provide to parents. And so we just wanted to make you aware of that. Um, Franklin Elementary School is sending out communication about that um, to their community and we'll, and we'll work um, within their community to make sure that that, is, um, that that is an opportunity that parents who want to participate in certainly can. Um, we also want to do a big shout out to KSL. They'll be dropping off food for the district food pantry today at noon. We are always very appreciative of all of the supports that we get from many different entities uh, to support families that are uh, often struggling um, in our community. And sometimes we forget that that happens right here in Provo. And we have a lot of people that are willing to step up and help out. With that, I want to wish all of you a fantastic week. Um, we will, I have had a few questions about the calendar survey, not for next year, but for the following year, for the 2026 school year. Um, we will be sending out a survey shortly. Uh, we are going to uh, do it a little bit differently this year where we provide three very distinct calendaring options based on the priorities that we have received in the past um, from our constituents. And uh, last year we had two calendaring options, but they really just varied by a couple of days in terms of what the start days were. We really want you to see what the options are and then kind of get an idea of what um, the preferred calendar uh, would be in terms of, do we care more about sustaining breaks throughout the school year? Do we care more about ending before Memorial Day or do we care more about starting later? And so you'll see some different options coming out there with an explanation of how those calendars differ so that you can make the choices that are best for your family. We know that we try to align our calendars often with um, Nebo School District because we have a lot of employees that live in Nebo. Um, we have tried to also align it with Alpine School District. We also have requests to align things with UVU. And so we do, I want you to know that we do take all of those things into account and, and try to create options that will be the best fit um, for our families. We really appreciate that our families are trying to be smart about when they're when they're pulling kids so that they're not pulling them out of school when they when they shouldn't be and so uh, we appreciate those efforts extensively we also know that uh, we have not been sending out attendance phone calls because we have switched over to a new system uh, that is in place and so those attendance phone calls will start today um, and then beginning second quarter, we are going to start an option where parents will be receiving a text message when their student is absent and they'll have an option to use, um, to, to click a link in that text to be able to excuse the absence so that you won't have to call into the school to do that. Um, so we're hoping that that will make things easier for parents as well as easier for our school staff. So more to come on that. We'll have more instructions about that. That won't be rolled out until second quarter. But just wanted you to know that uh, your attendance phone calls will be starting today um, and we appreciate your patience as we've been trying to uh, connect our power school system with uh, a new parent communication system so everyone i hope you have a fantastic week it's a busy one um, as it often is but i love it i love the energy and just the excitement of kids and being out in schools and, and being able to see all of the great things that are taking place in our Provo community. Have a great week, everyone.